These days, most of us have some form of dependency on electricity. Setting aside powering our homes, we use electricity to enjoy many of life's moments. But it can add stress when that convenience isn't available, whether because of a power outage where you're somewhere without access to electricity. Thankfully, with the help of science and technology, portable power is becoming more widely available. This is where the Jackery Explorer 300 comes in. I have been putting it through some tests and I'm ready to let you know if you should invest your hard-earned money in this power station. Jackery's 2021 Explorer 300 Portable Power Station model launched with a $300 price tag and is still selling for the same price. There are sales and coupons from time to time, but typically the unit is found for around $300 at retailers like Amazon, as well as the Jackery website. The Jackery Explorer 300 is a 7.1 pound portable power station and can also be referred to as a solar generator. No, it doesn't generate solar rays. The solar generator name is because you can recharge the battery pack using solar via a separate solar panel. Back to the Explorer 300 itself, it is solid and well-constructed with a built-in handle at the top for carrying the unit around. As for looks, the Explorer 300 is wrapped in plastic sporting the iconic Jackery black and orange colors. There are four rubber feet on the bottom to keep the power station from sliding around. On the sides are openings to help the internal fans to keep the unit cool. But the front is where all the real action is. At the top of the front side, you'll find the small 1.87-inch LCD panel that gives information on the input and output rates and the battery percentage. To the left of the display is a button to turn on the backlight for the screen and on the right is a button to turn on the 12V DC port. Below that port, you'll find two 110V AC outlets with their own button to turn them on. To the left are the USB ports consisting of a bidirectional USB-C 60 WPD port, a Qualcomm Quick Charge 3 USB port, and a standard USB port below it. Finally, the AMPA barrel port for charging via a wall outlet with the included external DC inverter is on the far left. It's from these ports that the Jackery Explorer can pump out up to 500W in a power surge and a sustained 300W pure sine wave electricity coming from the inverter and a 293WH battery cell. While this kind of power output isn't going to run your house, an air conditioner, or a toaster, it will be excellent for running other small appliances and electronics. If you pair a good PD-USB-C charger with the wall outlet charger for the Jackery, the Explorer 300 will recharge from 0.80% in about 2 hours. While some smartphones tout 0.80% charging speeds in a few minutes, the recharge speed of the power station is really fast, considering how large the battery is. For all that I like about the Jackery Explorer 300, there are a few aspects I don't. For instance, I really wish the display offered more information. While I'm glad it shows the input and output rates and the remaining battery percentage, that really is the bare minimum. Other units offer an estimated time remaining until the battery is full or depleted. Though it isn't a major issue, it is a feature I wish were there. I also wish the Explorer 300 had an external lamp. It's something I believe all power stations like this should have. While it wouldn't be quite as necessary on a large solar generator like the Delta Pro or the Blue Day C200MAX, it is a helpful feature nonetheless. But I say it's less of a requirement on those hefty units because they aren't as portable as the Explorer 300 is. Being able to shed some light on an area with this small power station would be very appreciated. The other part of the Explorer 300 that I wish was the case, though I understand why it is, would be the external inverter for the wall outlet. Where the actual power station is a very compact size, carrying around the cumbersome charging accessory is annoying. While larger packs have the luxury of building the charging inverters into the unit and only requiring a cord to charge it back up, doing so with the Explorer 300 would reduce its portability. Thankfully, the power station is rechargeable using a PD-USB-C plug. Because of the compact size and flexible output options, the Jackery Explorer 300 is a standard part of my camping plans. I feel confident taking it with me because of how well it's built. There's no rattling or hollow feel to worry me that it can't hold up to a weekend away. Knowing that I'll be able to charge it from a wall outlet, USB-C, solar, or some combination to get it back up and going is great. But as I said before, regardless of what you are trying to power, understanding what kind of draw that device will have is important. While 300W is a lot of power, 
it isn't going to be enough for items you may not realize can pull more juice than expected like a hairdryer or blender. So long as you plan accordingly, the Jacker Explorer 300 is a great choice for the next time you are away or without power. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Keep watching and stay with us subscribing to this channel. Have a great day!